Hey, this is Justin. You're watching Wingsound.com. If you have any music production questions, all you gotta do is log into your Wingsound account, hit submit, and you'll be able to submit your question via webcam. Let's check out Dwayne's. Hey, this is Dwayne here, and my question is, like a lot of times I get samples of old songs off YouTube, and I want to remove the voices on them. I want to know if that's possible, and if so, what to use um, to get the voices off of old songs you might say. Okay, so you have your two-track recording that you want to remove your vocals from. In this case, I'm using a Beatles song. I've imported it onto a stereo track. And you want to separate it into two mono tracks. So what you do is you go to your Regents window and hit the little arrow right by the name of the song. And then it shows you your two separate mono tracks, the left and the right. Put them on two separate mono channels. Then what you're going to want to do is on the right or the left, it doesn't matter, instantiate an EQ plugin. I'm using the one band just for this instance. And what you're going to want to do is hit the phase flip button. And let's hear this first bypass and then with the plugin on. So as you can see, it took the vocals right out. There's still a very faint vocal coming through, and what you can do is use your EQ plugin to try and uh, focus on that frequency and try and cut it out as best you can. Nothing is real. So I just made a peak filter and tried to notch out as much as I could from the vocal. But you're, with this, you're not going to, going to completely eliminate the vocal. And it's easier to do on older recordings because most of the vocals were panned right up the center. So it takes it right out. But if you have something a little newer with reverb in the center with the kick and the snare or in the bass in the center it's going to cancel out anything that's in the center so it's not going to work for a lot of tracks for example i tried to do it with a wu-tang song and this is what it sounds like <laughs> It sounds horrible. You really can't sample anything from that. So choose your songs wisely. Songs that have vocals panned right up the center so you can easily take those out. Also use an EQ to try and notch out any slight vocals coming through and you should be able to do a pretty decent job. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.